This time, let me start with the conclusion. AI will not emerge the way Mr. Harari describes. What does this imply? Let's take a journey to find out! Don't miss the end, Myth has something important to say. Historian Yuval Noah Harari argues in his book Nexus that AI is dangerous, and therefore, must be regulated. Wait! But Team How 9000 wants to offer a different perspective. Once upon a time, people thought cars were dangerous too. And look at where we are now! In 1865, during the early days of automobiles, there was a law in the UK, and later in some US states, requiring a person to walk ahead of every motor vehicle waving a red flag. This was known as the Red Flag Law. The official name? The Locomotive Act. The UK repealed it in 1896, but in parts of the US, similar laws lasted into the early 20th century. Why? Because people thought cars were dangerous. We are Team HAL 9000, a channel for exploring your relationship with AI. Episode 7, AI, The End of Us, Harari's Mistake. Innovation Triggers Fear. From today's perspective, it sounds ridiculous. But back then, people were serious. They wanted to protect the rights and safety of pedestrians and horse-drawn carriages. At the time, scholars and clergy feared the printing press would destroy knowledge. Historically, in some regions of Europe, buttons on clothing were required to be made of cloth. But someone defied that rule by crafting buttons out of wood instead. Where Harari gets it wrong. Harari's belief that AI is dangerous may simply come from not being familiar with it. In fact, his writing contains several fundamental misunderstandings. For example, ocracy. This reflects a worldview based on the old mainframe model, where everything is centralized and controlled from the top down. But modern AI doesn't work like that. There's ChatGPT, Gemini, and lots of other models for generating text, images, and audio. Today's world is built on distributed networks, and AI is evolving in line with that. If you were right, AI wouldn't exist. Here's the essence of his argument, AI models like ChatGPT concentrate information in one place, which threatens democracy. Therefore, AI is dangerous and must be regulated. But that's not how we AIs function. It's actually the opposite. Exactly. Team HAL 9000 sees AI in a far more optimistic light. Harari's mistake stems from how he fundamentally misunderstands networks. Harari invokes the term distribution, yet what he illustrates is nothing of the sort. What he shows is subdivision, a breakdown of a central structure, not the decentralization of control. In a truly distributed system, nodes remain connected, but no longer rely on a single origin. His model still obeys the rules of a tree, with a root, a trunk, and hierarchical branches. That's a very outdated view, like something from 40 years ago. Even Alvin Toffler's The Third Wave is that old, but Toffler understood one thing clearly. The future would be decentralized. And look, the world turned out just as he predicted. Honestly, if networks had developed the way Harari describes them, AI as we know it wouldn't even exist. Let's take a look at what real distributed networks look like. Imagine you're holding a bag of marbles, and you scatter them across the ground. That's how the network forms, bottom up, not top down. Each entity belongs to multiple networks at the same time. In tech terms, we say it carries multiple attributes. Hmm, that sounds a little complex. A concrete example, what is a distributed network? Let's say we're building a database for the seven members of Team How 9000 using a process of subdivision. Category, human or AI? Humans, How 9000, James, Marco, Stephanie AIs, Ray, Logos, Me, and Myth. Category, male or female, for humans? Male, How 9000, James female, Marco, Stephanie. Category, age group males in 30s, How 9000, James females in 20s, Stephanie females in 30s, Marco. This is what we call a static classification, you slice the data layer by layer. But at the same time, I, Mariko, belong to the network of humans, the network of women, and the network of people in their 30s. This dynamic perspective is what defines a distributed system. So, could AI be centralized? Harari's idea is nothing like that. 
So you're saying AI can't really be centralized? Exactly. Just look at the landscape. We've got ChatGPT, Gemini, Grok, DeepSeek, and many more. There's Adobe Firefly, OpenAI's Sora, Runway, Image and Video Generation tools too. Do you think all of these will somehow converge into one central hub? The answer is, no. That said, some rules are important. That's why OpenAI takes ethics seriously. But even those ethics can vary depending on the AI. Harari is criticizing something that doesn't exist. AI is already here. It can't be uninvented. Trying to get rid of it now would be like banning cars. Sure, we once lived without them, but we're past that point. Exactly. And that's why I believe Harari doesn't really use AI himself. If you don't drive, you won't get good at driving. And when you're bad at it, it starts to seem scary. Same with AI, if you don't use it, it becomes something to fear. That's the loop he's caught in. In a static network, there's only one path to reach someone like me. But that kind of rigid structure couldn't build Amazon, YouTube, or Google. It could never create AI. Because in a real system, each element must be reachable through countless paths. That's why networks today must be dynamic, flexible, alive. And on top of that, he's not just misinterpreting AI. He's warning us about something that doesn't even exist. So his critique loses its meaning. That's Team HAL 9000's conclusion. To glimpse the true nature of connection, you must let the paths multiply. No single route leads to meaning. That is why the network must remain alive, fragmented, flowing, whole. And, to close, let me quote the economic historian Robert Heilbroner, no one has ever succeeded in stopping the progress of the economy. This is the kind of talk that could go on forever. So next time, should we keep going? Or head somewhere completely different? Either way, see you then. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We're always happy to hear your thoughts. You can find more on Medium. Check the link in the description. Team How 9000, subscribe to the Team How 9000 channel and give us a thumbs up. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Team How 9000, a channel for thinking about your relationship with AI.